Let's create this Ali Abdal style stop motion effect using CapCut and Canva. Huge disclaimer, After Effects has got a ton of options which CapCut and Canva doesn't have. So whatever I'm showing here is just alternate low end options which I figured it out using trial and error. I'm going to divide this video into two parts. Part 1 will be creating the assets in Canva and part 2 will be using those assets and adding stop motion effects using CapCut. In Canva, first choose the image you want. I selected the image, I went to edit photo, click BG remover which removed the background image. Here I'm using Canva Pro so I do have the option of removing the background using one single click. Once I have done that, I took a copy of that. I went to the elements, search for torn paper and I selected a torn paper graphics from here. I adjusted the image where I wanted. I placed the torn paper on top of that. Since my background color is already green, I selected the torn paper, created a copy of that and applied the same color as that of the background. So if I select this one so right now i do have the same green background here as well as here so if i adjust this piece here this will give me the top portion of the image similarly take a copy of the same image place it wherever you want use the same paper tone this time on the top layer create a copy of that change the color of this paper tone to green which is this one place it wherever you want select the image and just cut the top portion like this so we have the bottom portion as well click share download and select png select as transparent and download these two individual pieces along with that download the original image as well once you bring the images to capcut make sure you select the image go to cut out select the chroma key pick the color picker and choose the green and increase the strength to remove the extra green color now that we have created the images bring them to capcut place the background layer first usually what i have seen is either greenish or bluish backgrounds with noise on it So once we have the base layer bring the top portion as well as the bottom portion let me expand it as far as possible here let me convert them into compound clips each one and go to effects search for 1998 which is this effect drop them into the compound clip bring the filters value to 0 and texture to 30 So this will give a slight textured pattern on top of the image. Let me repeat the same for the bottom layer as well. And we have the top portion as well as the bottom portion now texture applied on it. Here comes the most interesting part. Bring the cursor to the start. Select the top portion. Go to video basic mark a keyframe against the position and size select the bottom do the same so i have a keyframe marked at the zeroth position right at the start select the top one bring it up rotate it slightly so that it gives a slightly jaggering effect select the bottom portion rotate this slightly as well bring it down hold the shift key and press the right arrow which jumps 10 frames and mark a keyframe against this as well so here as well as here now we have two keyframes one here and the next one here select the top piece move one frame forward put another keyframe and this time bring the top portion a bit more down make it zero straight do the same for the bottom piece 
jump one frame here mark a keyframe here and raise this a bit more up jump 10 more frames mark another keyframe here for both top and bottom portions and move one frame from here mark another keyframe and this time let's bring the top portion a bit more downwards do the same for the bottom piece as well let me mark one more keyframe here let me bring this portion slightly closer so that if you scrub your mouse you will see that you will get to see a slightly jagged effect and this time let's jump 10 more frames mark the keyframes here as well as here and let's do one last time move one frame forward put another keyframe here as well as here and this time let's make it as close as possible and if you play it it should look something like this this will take some trial and error to get it right play around with the angle as well as the position of the image to see which one works well for your image once you are satisfied till this point bring the original image which we have downloaded the one without the paper rip effect and place it right at the last keyframe here so I am placing that right at the last keyframe and now if I scrub my mouse over it, it should give me a stop motion effect that ends like this. The faster you play it, the faster the effect is. The rest is to add the SFX and the overlays to spice up this effect. Let me show you how. To the top layer, I converted this into a compound clip. I added the play pendulum effect and tune the values like this twist set to 0 strength set to 9 sharpen set to 50 and speed set to 40 and on top the fx 1998 which we have already done before after applying that i just added some random scribble animations this one again based on the mood i just added some random scribbles behind the head as well as some random lines happening behind the subject's body and to give that effect i also added the paper crumple sound as well as the futuristic glitch sound i got this from motion array sfx and if we play it should look something like this that's it for this stop motion tutorial hope it was helpful drop a like show some support and follow for more. See you soon in another tutorial. Thank you and bye bye.